few things that we need to know. Usually God guides us along five ways. He will guide you and me in five ways. And there are many, but these are the few ways that I've picked up. That how God will guide you. Number one, God guides us through a powerful, prayerful leading of the scripture. God will speak to you through leading of the scriptures. As you kneel down and as you are pondering, as you are meditating on his word, as you are leading, whenever you begin to read the word of God, please don't take it for granted. Don't take it as casual. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you as you read the word of God. Because that's one of the guidance that God will speak to you. He will speak to you through the word of God. God will give you a scripture that you may stand on, on a particular guidance that you need. God will speak to us through prayerfully and leading of scriptures. Mm. God speaks in that way. And the other way that God speaks, he speaks through preaching of the word of God. Amen. And as I'm speaking right now, as I'm saying these words from the Lord, as I'm speaking, quoting the scriptures from the Lord, God will speak to you if you open up your heart. God will speak to you through a word. A word will come to you in a particular way. I remember one day I was so overwhelmed, I was so heavy, I, was, I didn't know what to do, I was so tired, I was feeling heaviness, and one day we just went for a Bible study. We just went for a Bible study, I was so tired, I was so heavy, I was very worn down, and I said, Lord, please, speak to me. Speak to me, Lord. Speak to me. And it was so quiet that I could not hear God say, but I said, Lord, please. I'm tired. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to a Bible study. Please speak to me. Amen. And God spoke to me through a song. Amen. Through a song. As we were quiet there, seated, about to start the Bible study, a, seated, a sister just began to sing a song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, oh fear he is gone. You see, just that, because I know, yes, I know he holds my future. Just that song, I was feeling how everything was being taken away and how I was being released because I know that he lives. I can face tomorrow. Because Christ believed, you can face tomorrow. And God spoke to me through that song. Amen. And that's how God speaks. And I was very enlightened. And the burden fell off. And I was very glad. And I began singing. And all heaviness went. Why? Because a song was sung and that ministered to me. And that's how God speaks. So we need to be open to the Holy Spirit because you don't know how he may show up to you. So open up to God. He speaks to us through the word of God. A scripture will jump out as you are reading. One day I was reading the book of Matthew and I was wondering to say, God, how can this be? And I was so worried. I was, and the Bible says, who among you by one he can hard even a day to his life. Mm. Your father knows what you need even before you ask of him. Mm. Amen. And that's how God spoke to me. You say, wow, this is how God speaks through his word. So God will speak to you through the preaching of the word. God will speak to you through the reading of the scriptures. Amen. Amen. And God will speak you, you speak through to you by listening. Mm. Sometimes you may not know what to do. You are asking, what am I going to do? You need to go to a pastor or you need to call someone and say, this is what I'm thinking. What do you think? Let's pray together. Can you reason with me? This is what I want to do. Pastor, reason with me. Can you guide me? And by counsel from the man of God, counsel from the brethren who say, wow, I didn't see that way. I thought this is the only way I should do things. I didn't see that you can do that way. God will speak to us through reasoning with men of God and brothers in the Lord. Amen. Amen. And God will speak to you and me through a circumstance. Mm. 
God speaks louder even through the circumstances. Circumstance. You look at Joseph. He had a dream, but he was being sold, and things were going bad. I and mean, you'd wonder to say, is there a thing? Are things going to change? But even through that situation, God spoke to him. God made the way. The Bible says, for all things work together for the good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. Amen. God Amen. works all things together. You may be going through a hard time. You may be wondering, am I going to come out through this? God will take you through. As we said last week, you're either going through something or you are coming out of something Amen. or you are getting into something. That's how life, that's how life is. But God will always see you through because he said, neither would I leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. God will speak to you through circumstances. You speak to you through prayer for reading of scriptures. You speak to you through the preaching of the word of God. You speak to you through the reasoning and you speak to you through the circumstances. And the other thing that God will speak to you through is through, through a strong inner witness. Amen. Amen. He speaks in a still small voice. I don't know about you. When you are about to do something or you have said something that is not in line with the Holy Spirit, something that is not in line with God. There is a witness within you. Mm. There is a witness that says, oh, what you said, that was not good. There is that inner. And God will speak to you through an inner witness. And sometimes God will speak to you in a still small voice. Mm. There is peace that comes. There is a witness. The Holy Spirit will speak to you through an inner the Bible says when Jeremiah God wanted to speak to him, he said, you saw the wind, the wind passed. And everybody came a still, small voice that spoke to Elijah. And God will speak to you through that. When you read his scriptures and when you follow him, God will always speak to you. There are times when you know that you know this is it. God has spoken. Whenever people are trying to delay you, people are trying to say, no, that say, I know. Like what the apostle said, Paul said, for I know and I'm persuaded that God is able to do that which I've committed to him. Amen. God is able. You will know within your heart that this is what God wants me to do. And there will be a witness. Mm. And sometimes the witness will come from a brother who will just bring a word of encouragement. A brother will just bring a word of confirmation to you. There is that inner peace within us. How does these all come together when we are in need of personal guidance? How do all these things come together? How do they come together? How can we hear God speak to us? Number one, we need to surrender. I loved today as we were singing, as we were worshiping, I surrender all. Mm. Amen. Surrender is not a weakness. Surrender is not an abandonment. No, surrender is no, it's just saying, Lord, I give it to you. I give it to you, Lord. We need to surrender our likes or dislikes to God in prayer and determine to have no of our own will in the, in the matter. Amen. Because there is a tendency of saying, I'm surrendering to you, Lord, and yet one leg is in it. You're saying, God, I'm surrendering to you, and yet you are thinking, oh, tomorrow I'll go back. No, that's not surrender. Surrender is like a child. You are telling a child to say, come to me. Come to me. And the child will just come to you because he knows you are there. He just surrenders his life into your hands because he knows that you hold him. So we need to surrender our likes, our dislikes to the Lord. Amen. And determine not to have a will of our own. You know, sometimes our will, you may think that your will is what God wants to do. No. The will of God is perfect in your life. Amen. So do not have, when you are surrendering to God, do not have, do not hold on to it. Say, oh, I don't, I'm not sure. No, you are, you are safe in His hand. Amen. Amen. You are safe in Him. In fact, you're not safe in yourself, but you are safe in Him. You are safe in God because He watches over you, because He created you, because you are His. Amen. And the other thing that we need to, to do when we need personal guidance, we need to we need to surrender our desires to Him. Amen. 
And we need to say, not my will, but thy will be done. Amen. We need to say that not what I want, but let your will be done in my life. We see how Jesus, when Jesus was being tempted, when Jesus was going to the cross, he said, Father, let thy will be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let Amen. your will be done in my life. You see, let your will be done in all this that I'm asking of you. Let your will be done as I seek your guidance, Lord. Let your will be done as I look to you. Not my will, but yours be done. Amen. And when we do that, God will step in. And sometimes when we want to see God guide us on a personal prayer, we need, sometimes you need to fast. You need to fast for 24 hours. Just fasting to see God say, Lord, I want you to come through for this. I want you, Lord, to come through for us. I want you, God, to touch our lives. Sometimes you need to absolutely fasting, seeking God and God alone. And that by so doing, you'll be sensitive to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Because you devote yourself to just seeking Him, him only and nothing else. Mm. You go to Him in prayer and fasting and say, God, not my will but yours be done. God, have your way in my life. And God will surely guide you and will make His voice clear to you. When we fast, we become sensitive to what God is saying. We become sensitive and clear to hear what God wants us to do. So guidance is very important. Reading of the word is very important. We need to read the word of God. We need to hear through the same one. We need to hear through the same one. God will speak to us through the same one. And God will speak to us through a counsel. The Bible says in the multitude of, 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 of counsel, when we need to seek counsel, when sometimes we have no what to do, we don't know what to do. We need to seek help. We need to reason with our pastors. We need to reason with our counselors. We need to reason. We need to say, Mama, I'm, I'm planning to make a journey. Seek with me with the Lord whether this journey is the, is the journey that God wants me to do. Amen. Whether this is what I want to do, please pray with me. And Amen. keep on consulting. Did, have you have any scriptures for me? And I say, oh yes, this is a scripture that came up. Go and read and see what God will speak to you through that scripture. And that's how God speaks. God will speak to us through that. He will speak to us in circumstances. Amen. He will speak to us with the peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. You have the peace of God. And when you have the peace of God, then you take that journey. When you have the peace of God, then you take that project you want to take. When you have the peace of God, then you go forward because God is guiding you. But the moment you are having confusion, stop and seek the Lord. Say, Lord, Amen. I can see confusion. You see, it's like that person, Jesus, he will say, oh, I can see trees upside down. Say, so, Lord, make him see clear. I say, go back again and wow, this is I can see clearly. So we need to see clearly. It's very important and very vital. I cannot emphasize this much that we need a guidance of a pastor. Sometimes we want to hear from God. We need a guidance of a friend. We need to seek and ask. We need to ask one another. We need to pray with one another. We need to come together. When you are not clear and you are seeking God, Always ask through your pastors and the church is very clear. They always say, please drop your prayer, please call this number. We are available. The leadership is available, the pastors are available. Please don't die in silence. If you're not clear of whatever you're asking God for, what you are trusting God for, pray with the elders, pray with the leaders. Ask the, the elders to pray with you. Amen. Now, let's look into the scripture. The other thing that will help us to receive God's guidance is humility. Amen. Number one, humility. We need to be humble. If we are to receive God's guidance, divine guidance in our life, we need to be humble. Psalms 25 and verse 9. Psalm 25 and verse 9. He guides the humble in what is right. 
Amen. and teaches them his ways. Amen. Amen. The Bible says he guides the humble. Be humble before the Lord. The Bible says he humble yourself before the Lord and you do what he will exalt you. Amen. Amen. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his ways. Amen. God Amen. will teach you. God will give you. God will guide you if you have humility in your heart. You need to be humble before the Lord. 8, eight and verse 9. Eight, 8 and verse 9 says, It says, Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his ways. Mm. Do you want to know God's ways? Humble yourself before him. He will teach you his ways. Moses said, Lord, I, I want to know you. I want to see your face. We need to go to him. God will always teach us. God will always guide us. God will always lead us. If we humble ourselves. Amen. Humility is very important. Amen. Humbling ourselves before the Lord and God will guide our hearts. And number two, have no will of your own. Do not have a will of your own when God is trying to instruct you. Because sometimes we go to God with our agendas. We have made up our minds and say, oh, this is what we want God to do. And if this does not work, then that is it. No. Let's not have our own will. Let's have the will of God in our lives. Let's Amen. say, not my will, let your will be done. Amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. The Bible says, Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6. The Bible says, teach me, teach, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge it. And you make your path straight. Do you want your path to be straight? Mm. Lean on Him. Do you want your path to be straight? Look to Him. Do you want your path to be straight? Trust Him. Do you want understanding? Trust Him. Do you want your ways to be perfect? Acknowledge Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own hand. Sometimes you may lean on your own understanding even when people are telling you to say, this is not the way. If you become so stubborn, you miss the point. Amen. The Bible is telling us, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust Him that He will guide you. Hallelujah. Trust the Lord that He will see you through because He is faithful. Hallelujah. Why is guidance sometimes unclear? Why is guidance sometimes unclear? James chapter 4, verse 2 and 3 says, You do not have because you do not ask. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motive. Mm. That you may spend what you get on your own pressure. Mm. Amen. So, why guidance is sometimes unclear? Because we ask with wrong motives. Mm. We ask that we may spend what God is going to bless us with our own pleasure. We do not receive because we do not ask. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with a long motive. Amen. What is a long motive? It's to spend what God is giving you in the pressure. In your, it's like that man who said, Oh, my heart, be satisfied. Now you have all this thing. Be merry for tomorrow you die. No. God is blessing you because you are somebody in mind. Amen. Amen. God brings things into your life. Not for you, but for others as well. Amen. Amen. And God blesses you for his name's sake, for the ministry, for the work that God has called you. He blesses you for that. Amen. So why is sometimes guidance and prayer? It's because we ask with the wrong motive. And if you do ask with the wrong motive, the Bible says, let him not, he who asks with the wrong motive, things that he receive from you. Yeah. You cannot receive when you ask with the wrong motive. Mm. And number four things, how to, how to pray for guidance. How do you pray for guidance? Psalm 25, 4 and 5. Four, four and five. Psalm 25, 4 and 5. The Bible says, show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. How to pray for guidance. Amen. How do you pray for guidance? And this is a light way to pray. Show me your ways, O Lord. 
Teach me your path, O oh God. Guide me in your truth and teach me for you, God. For you are God, my Savior. Mm. And my hope is in you, O oh day Lord. Okay. Amen. Amen. This is what the psalmist is saying. Teach me your ways, O oh Lord. Teach me your path. If you want guidance from the Lord, we need to go to him to say, show me your ways, O oh Lord. Mm. Show me your ways, O oh Lord, and teach me your path. Mm. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior, mm. and my hope is in you, O oh day Lord. Our hope is in God, not in any other thing. Yes. Amen. So we need to ask God to teach us his ways. Amen. We need to ask him to lead our path, to guide us in truth. Because he's the only one who is faithful and is the true God. Number five, a committed life is a guided life. Amen. Amen. A committed life is a guided life. Amen. Psalm 37, Psalm 37 and verse 5. Psalm 37 and verse 5, the Bible says, Commit your ways. A committed life is a, is a guided life. Psalm says, Psalm 37 verse 5, it says, Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do this. What will He do? He will make your light just shine like the dawn. The justice of your cause like the noonday. Son. Amen. Amen. This is what God will do when you commit your ways to Him. When you commit your ways to the Lord and trust in Him, He will do this to you. He will make your righteous shine like Amen. 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 A committed life is a life that is guided by, by God. Mm. Commit your ways to the Lord and trust Him and He will do these things. He will guide you. He will lead you. Guidance all the way to the glory of God. Amen. So the guidance all the way to the So when God is guiding you, He guides you all the way. He doesn't leave you in between. Say, oh, now I'm going back. No, He guides you all the way for His name. For, 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 for the glory belongs to Him. Amen. Amen. For the glory belongs to Him. He guides you so that He receives the glory. Psalm, states, Psalm 73. Psalm 73, Psalm 73, verse 24, the Bible says, you guide me with your counsel, mm. and afterward, afterwards you will take me into glory. Amen. Amen. So God will guide you through he will guide you all the way to glory. You guide me with your counsel. Mm. And afterwards you take me into glory. So our Christian life is forever. Our Amen. Christian life and our goal is to be glorified with him. Amen. It's our, our, our Christian life is to be glorified with God. As when, when life is no more, God will receive the glory. Amen. Amen. And God will guide you all the way. He will guide you, number seven, He will guide you until we will no longer need it. Amen. Amen. He will guide you. God will always be there for you until you see, you see to it that you have it, you have all what you have asked of Him. Amen. Amen. Psalms 47, 48 and verse 14. Psalms 48 and verse 14, the Bible says, For, for this God is our God forever and ever. You will be our guide even to the end. Amen. 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 Even to the end. Mm. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. This, for this God is our God forever and ever. You guide. He will be our guide even to the end. Mm. Amen. So God will see to it that He guides you even to the end. Amen. So that you be fulfilled and that you get what God is guiding you for. Hallelujah. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be 
he will be he will guide even to the end amen so what guidance do you need in your life today what are you praying for what guidance are you looking for are you embarking on a project and then you don't know what to do are you embarking on a journey of life and you don't know which turn to take God will guide you. God will lead you. God is the one who guides us. And when he guides us, he guides us unto the end. He doesn't leave us halfway. He will see to it that he guides you into all what you wanted to have in life. He guides us. He never leaves us. He always with us. God was with the children of Israel from Egypt. Mm. into the Amen. promised land. He never left them. Even when they leave him, he remains faithful. He remained God. The moment they turned to him, he was there for them. He was guiding them in the night in the pillar of fire and in the day in the shadow of the cloud. Amen. God's glory was with them to the end until they get into the promised land. Amen. So what are you trusting God for? What guidance do you need? God will guide you. Amen. God will guide you and will lead you. Don't take life for granted. Don't think that, oh, don't be casual. Please pray for everything. Ask God guidance in whatever you are doing. Mm. When he leads you, you have the peace of God. Amen. When he leads you, you have the inner witness. When he leads you, you have joy. When he leads you, he will lead you to a place of peace. Hallelujah. So may the Lord help us. In whatever ways, in every need, in every guidance you need, may the Lord guide you. Amen. And may the Lord guide us. Let's pray together. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, many are the things that we need guidance for. Hallelujah. And therefore we look to you. Many are the projects, many are the visions, many are the desires, many are the ways, many are things that we want to impact ourselves. Oh, that we are asking you right now that may you guide us, Father. May you guide us as Isaiah 30, verse 21 says that you shall hear my voice say, walk in this way. Hallelujah. Ah, Father, help us to hear that Father, voice. We give you the prayer. Help us to hear the voice of God. Where we have lost the sensitivity of hearing the word of God. Father, we pray that you rekindle that fire once again. That we may hear you clearly in the ways you want us to take. Because you are the way, the truth, and life. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that guide our lives. Protect our lives. When we are guided by you, we have peace and joy in our lives. Father, may that inner witness Father, begin to speak to us in the name of Jesus. May that still small voice begin to detect and guide us today in the name of May the word of God or God speak to us louder. May the circumstances even scream to us to say, You are in charge of God. Father, we honor you. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen. amen.